Dave here at the house, I'm talking about one of my favorite boards from Burton. Uh, it's the Burton Hero. Uh, definitely one of the best bang uh, for the buck boards they got in their line. Just a slew of new technology uh, in this board. Definitely makes it a uh, really good uh, board for a lot of riders out there. First off, uh, flex on this one's going to be relatively soft. Uh, one being soft, ten being stiff. Uh, you're probably looking right around, say, like a two to maybe three and a half range on this one, depending on the length. Uh, from there, we've got a twin-like shape. Uh, it is almost a perfect twin, just a slightly longer nose to it. Uh, the flex is twin, definitely. Uh, moving into the side cut, you got a pretty mellow uh, radial side cut. This board does have the V rocker, which means you're going to have some rocker between the bindings with a little additional after the bindings, and it does feature their pressure distribution edge, uh, which right underneath the binding position is gonna bump out ever so slightly, uh, basically giving you two extra points of contact on the side cut. You got one with the tail, one with the nose, and then two in between right underneath the bindings. So it's gonna bite icy hard pack terrain really good and uh, kind of help give it a little bit more grip uh, since the rocker gives it kind of a loose feel. Uh, from there, uh, you've got the tried and true, uh, true channel system. Um, definitely uh, with reverse camera boards, you match it up with an EST binding, it's going to be perfect because it will not mess with the flex of the board at all. Uh, you'll definitely be able to get your, your presses down a little bit easier. Um, just uh, if you do the channel boards, you have to do an EST binding, long story short. Nose and tail on this one are going to have their pro tip. Uh, meaty sidewall through the center going to a reduced thickness in the uh, tail and the nose. Uh, that's just going to make it lighter weight, lighter for the swing weight, and torsionally more forgiving as well too. Uh, they do have a scoop nose and tail in this one. So if you're doing any kind of like flat ground butters, manual, stuff like that, really, really easy to, to scooch and mini bike on. Base on this one surprisingly is a centered base. Usually on boards in this price range and all this other stuff are going to be an extruded. Uh, this one is a centered die cut base. Holds wax really good, uh, holds a lot of wax, uh, and will get faster throughout the life of it. Uh, other than that, it's got their infinite ride process, which is where they overbuild the board, stick in a machine that simulates about three to four years of usage. So you get it, flex it the first day, it flexes the same three or four years down the road. Pretty sick and it actually does work. Um, as always, you got their uh, dual zone, engineered grain direction. Uh, grain for the core is gonna run from the track out to the edge, uh, right to that pressure distribution edge, so it gives you a really good hold. Like I said, just, uh, just tons of uh, tech for a board of this price. One of my favorites in the shop, and it's not just because it's purple, Burton Hero.